Apostle Paul said, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. When a God make a preacher, he don't need no organ to play with him. No. He don't need no organ to play behind him. No. He don't need support from the choir. Right. He's just going to preach the word That's of right. God and don't care who like it or who don't like it. That's right. Are you listening? They're all dumb dogs. They're all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They, 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 they cannot, cannot bark. bark. Sleeping. Wait a minute. What kind of preacher are they? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. Lying down. Loving to slumber. He's lazy. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. What? They are greedy dogs. What they want. Which can never have enough. That's many of your pastors sitting in here. That's right. Many of your pastors, that churches you go to, you're Amen. being led by a greedy, non-preaching greedy, dog. Greedy dogs. That's why the only time he get in the spirit when it's offering time. That's right. That's the only time he hear from heaven. The Lord just spoke to him. There's ten thousand dollars in the house. You old liar. The Lord ain't told him nothing. That's right. That's his greedy pockets calling for ten more thousand dollars. Amen. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Here you follow some dumb dog that claimed to be a preacher. Oh, Pastor Jennings, man, why you got to call names so much? Give me Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, 56. chapter 56 and verse 10. And verse 10. Let's, let's, let's see what the Bible says because they criticize me. Yes, they do. I hear one man say, I like you, but you just call too many names for me. <laughs> the Bible says this, whatsoever things are written aforetime is written for our learning. Yeah. It's written, I learned it, so I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. All right, let's have this. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. All right. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the preacher. He's supposed to be watching out for your soul. Mm -hmm. The preacher's supposed to be looking out for your soul. Looking out for your soul, which means this. What you learn will do two things. Save you or damn you. That's right. What you learn, what you learn. does two things. Save your soul, damn your soul. Stop looking at a church because your family go there. That's right. The Lord don't have no family church. No. A church is not right because no father is the pastor. No. No. And your uncle is the pastor. That's right. Who cares how many family members is there? That's right. The only thing make the church right is the scriptures. When the church go away from the scriptures, it's wrong. wrong. I don't care if your daddy is the bishop. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? That's right. Hear what the word of God says. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the leader. Yeah. Would you get in a taxi cab with the man that's blind? Blind. <laughs> I mean blind. Yeah. Not just medically blind. Blind. You know, Stevie Wonder can say. <laughs> but would you drive ride with him if he's driving? <laughs> no way. If you he pulled up to your house in a Hoover. Uh, Steve, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Where you want to go? Would you actually get in the car with Mr. Wonder? <laughs> Are you listening to what the old man is telling you? Amen. You're not a fool. Amen. So then, if the watchman is blind, watchman. then what? They are all ignorant. All ignorant. Spiritually, their scriptural capacity to understand God's word they are dead. Ignorant. They are all... They are all ignorant. Let us understand Bible college don't make a preacher. No. So if you go to some church and you brag them because your bishop got a PhD, a DD, an LLD, a study philosophy, who cares? Who cares about that? Preaching is a divine act of God. Right. School makes students. The Lord make preachers. That's right. Do you understand this? Yeah. So if there's any of you here going to Bible college and you already paid your intuition, you might as well get your money back yeah. because you just gonna graduate an educated fool. That's it. Are you listening? His watchmen are blind. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. What? They are all dumb dogs. Now, how many of you got a sign outside of your house with a dog? That says, beware of dog. Raise your hand. That's good. I'm pretty sure. Now, if I was a thief, 
and I see that sign and want to break into your crib, I'm going to look around for that dog first. That's right. And if your dog run up to the gate, I don't care how built he is, a pit bull. If you run up and I see his mouth moving like he's barking, <laughs> but no sound is coming out like a silent movie, I'm going to be like, is this real? That's right. I mean, his head is just jumping. <laughs> no, sound. no sound. What kind of dog is it? Dumb dogs. <laughs> he's running to the gate, and you're like, <laughs> what is it? Dumb dogs. Now, take that back to preaching. If the man don't preach from the book purely, scripturally, the book, no theology, no philosophy, no ideology, not I think, I suppose, I feel, the Bible don't care about your feeling. That's right. It's God's way or nobody's way. That's right. That's right. If I don't stick with the book of truth, book of truth. what am I? They're all dumb dogs. I'm a dumb dog. Dumb dog. Why? They cannot bark. Cannot bark mean you cannot preach. That's right. You call this preacher. And you love you. <laughs> because you went <laughs> I saw your mother. And I saw your brother. I saw your sister. <laughs> Amen. They ain't preaching. No. That's amusement. That's it. That's entertainment. That's right. Apostle Paul said, having this hope. We speak with great plainness of speech. speech. When a God maker preacher, he don't need no organ to play with him. No. He don't need no organ to play behind him. He don't need support from the choir. That's right. He's just going to preach the word That's of word. God and don't care who like it or who don't like it. That's right. Are you listening? They are all dumb dogs. They are all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They, 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 they cannot, cannot bark. bark. Sleeping. Wait a minute. What kind of preacher are they? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. Lying down. Loving to slumber. He's lazy. Yea, they are greedy dogs. What? They are greedy dogs. What they want. Which can never have enough. That's many of your pastors sitting in here. That's right. Many of your pastors, that churches you go to, you're <laughs> being led by a greedy, non-preaching dog. Greedy dogs. That's why the only time he get in the spirit when it's offering time. That's right. That's the only time he hear from heaven. The Lord just spoke to him. There's ten thousand dollars in the house. You old liar! liar. The Lord ain't told him nothing. That's right. That's his greedy pockets calling for ten more thousand dollars. Amen. Touch and claim it. How many of you go to churches that teach touch and claim it? Raise your hand. None of you. Don't lie now. The Bible don't teach touch and claim it. No. Either God wants you to have it, or He don't. Or he don't. The blessings of God is not based upon the size house, the size bank account. And the size car you drive. That's right. You can have all the money you want, but if you don't have God, he's a poor fool. That's right. Are you listening? Yeah, they are greedy dogs. The greatest wealth, and I want everybody to understand this. The greatest wealth in the world is the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. That's it. You can have your money, you can drive your car, you can have all the houses you want. If you die without God, Solomon said, your coming is in vain, in vain. And you will depart in darkness, and your name shall be covered in darkness. The Bible said, I say, an untimely birth is better than you. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And that's true. The preachers can never have enough. Never have enough. That's why they're always scamming. That's right. The, the religious scams, is so many of them I can't count. Oh, yeah. Even there's many over social media that try to use my name. Hmm. They try to get you to give money, not to the church. It's going into somebody's pocket. They use they to hijack my name, Pastor Gino Jennings. They to hijack the church name, mm. First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They to hijack the name of the program, the Truth of God program. Somebody gave me a letter. Uh, I think it was Thursday. One of the sisters it says she saw a website where someone had my name and asked them to send it to PayPal to their website. My Lord, my Lord. They have no fear. No fear. If you don't have a dime that don't handicap God's ability from blessing you in any form. That's right. Do you understand this? That's right. So if there's any preacher you ever see on social media, and that's going for any preacher here tonight, <laughs> who may be scared to let us know you are a preacher. 
If you are preaching that racketeering prosperity plan, you're a liar and a Chicago hypocrite. That's right. And you that go to these prosperity churches, pack up and leave and don't go back no more. That's right. All right, let's go back to the Acts of the Apostles Back in Acts chapter 20 and verse 29. What is it? For I know this, that after my departing. I know this. After my departing. Grievous war among you. Not Enter among the flock. God's people, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise. That's why I even watch the ministers that are with me. <laughs> That's right. I don't have no favoritism. No, you don't. Some of them don't like when I talk like this. They say, well, won't you say it behind doors? Jesus speak openly in the synagogue. That's right. If you ain't, listen, if you know you're honest and sincere and you're not up to no good, then you shouldn't mind me saying this. That's right. But if you know you're up to no good, then you want me to be quiet. Oh, Man, I'm going to blast this on top of the mountain. That's right. We don't only smash these false prophets outside of the church. Yeah. I'm watching men right in the church. Of your own selves. Of your own selves. Shall men arise. Shall men arise. Speaking perverse things. They have a perverted Teaching three distinct persons in the Godhead. That's perverted. Perverse. Jesus is the second person of the Godhead. Perverted. Perverse. Holy Ghost is the third person of the Godhead. Perverted. Perverse. God called and sent women to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Perverted. Perverse. God ain't looking at your outward. He just looking at your heart. It don't matter what you wear. That's perverted. That's perverse. Junior bishops, junior elders, junior pastors. That's perverted. That's right. So it's my job to expose every perverted teaching in the world and tell the world. That's why you hear us telling you, come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to the original thing. That's right. That God outlined. That's perverted. Also, Only black folk can be saved and all white folk can go there hell. That's perverted. perverted. Perverse. White man is supreme and black man is less of them. That's perverted. Perverse. Of your own self shall men arise. Hear this? Amen. I had a white supremacist uh, comment on our broadcast. I think it was a week or two because he didn't like the idea that I spoke against the wickedness of America. <laughs> and he said, if you don't like America, why don't you go back to Africa? I got over there and told him, why don't you come where I am and take me or send me back to Africa? That's right. I don't care if you're white as snow, black as ashes, yellow as butter, or brown as cinnamon. Right. Everybody got to do the same, same thing, thing in order to obey God. That's right. Thank you. Hallelujah. Get off the color of your skin. Oh, yes. The color of your skin can, don't make you right, no. and it don't save you. No. And it don't make you blessed in God's eyes. No. Black and white and brown and yellow. Raping. Killing. Killing. Murdering. Yeah. Robbing. That's right. Gang banging. That's right. That's right. For what? The oh, same thing. Same thing. Now I'm going after every race that walked the planet. Amen. Telling the black, the white, the brown, the yellow, and the red, and the repent. Repent. I'm telling you, repent. Stop looking at your color. You think it's something special. You ain't. No. I tell you what you and the white got in common. You're just grass. That's it. You're a fade away. That's right. If you don't believe me, you cut a white man and cut a black man and tell me it's one shedding white blood <laughs> and the other shedding black blood. Black blood. You both are just shedding blood. That's right. And when I put that white man in the ground and he go to dust, and I put that black man in the ground and he go to dust, I don't see the worms the beating which one they eat. No. Worms ain't down there. And I, hey, you gonna eat that one? <laughs> hey, who's that over there? That's a nigga. <laughs> what? That's a nigga. Oh, yeah. yeah That's right. that good dark meat. <laughs> That's right. Other worm ain't mean, over there. You want to eat that one? Who's that over there? That's a white man. Nah, that meat is too bland. I don't it's want him. <laughs> that worm going to go down in that grave and oh, yeah. tear the flesh up. That's right. Take the eyes out of the white man, the eyes out of the black man, the eyes out of the red, brown, and yellow. That's right. Society is being ambushed by messages from the devil that make you think you are supreme. The earth is the Lord's, Lord. and the Lord is supreme. That's right. Lord himself is supreme. The voice said cry. Hear this. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and at verse 6. The voice said cry. Said cry. And he I, said. After you read that, give me ye your gods in the book of Psalms. Yes. I got I to gotta, I gotta straighten that out quick. 
You know, come on, Sam. The voice said cry. The voice said cry. And he said, what shall I cry? What shall I cry? All flesh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amen. I want my black brothers and brown brothers and red brothers and yellow brothers and white brothers to get this. That's right. All flesh is grass. Who in here thank you more than grass? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand so I can cut your lawn. Amen. Come on. Come on. Raise your hand. That's right. That's right. The word of God says. The voice said cry. Cry. And he said what shall I cry? What shall I cry? All flesh. How much? All flesh. Is what about here? Yeah, what about if he's rich? All flesh. If he's a politician. All flesh. If he's a king, all flesh. If he's a queen, all flesh. If he's a Rastafarian, all flesh. If he's a Muslim, all flesh. If he's a Harry Krishna, all flesh. If he's non denominational, all flesh. Bishop, Fl all flesh. Amen, all flesh. Rabbi, all flesh. All flesh. What? All flesh is grass. I want everybody to get this. Everybody. And what happened to him? And the goodliness thereof is the, as the flower. The goodliness. Goodliness. Thereof. Is as the flower of the field. I don't care how beautiful she is. Mm -hmm. If she got so many curves, she outdo all the expressways here in Chicago. That's right. Or at that God when she lay down in that casket and go in the dust. Oh, what yes. happens to her according to the scriptures? The grass withereth. The go listen, the goodness. And all the goodliness thereof. All the goodliness thereof. Is as the flower of the field. Is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth. Wait a minute. Hmm. The grass wither. The flower fadeth. The flower fadeth. Because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Do you hear that? That's it. I want everybody to understand what you are. <laughs> That's right. You know, some folk, when they die, the, the, the media say, oh, they was worth a billion dollars. You wasn't worth nothing. <laughs> nothing. You ain't worth nothing. You can't take a dime with you. Nope. I don't care how much money you have now, how many people, Lord, only, eh, look, look at the rap world. That's right. Eh? That's right. Look at the rap world. Combs is in jail. Oh, Combs. Can his money get him out? No. All no. that money, all that partying, all that jumping around. But when you get behind them bars, buddy, <laughs> That's right. and you found guilty, I'd rather go to jail than go to hell. That's right. That's right. Give me the book of Psalms. Now the book of Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Listen at this. Psalms 82 and verse 6. Solomon. I have said, ye are gods. All right, glory to God. I want all of my brothers and sisters to hear this because mm -hmm. there's so many religions that capitalize on this scripture and they tell their men, you're gods, you're able to do everything, you're able to do anything, you're gods. Yes. And many of our brothers take this literally. That's right. That's right. Somebody, they, uh, many people have been asking me, been sending letters, want to send letters, but I want me to be on this program, I forgot what it's called, what well, this fella is Charlemagne, and he called himself the, the God. You are oh. never to get me to call no man the God. No way. I say insult to heaven. That's right. You are the God. That's blasphemous. That's right. That's blasphemous. That's blasphemous. You don't, you don't never call no man the God. No way. The Bible say, no, ye the Lord he is he God. Is God. Listen at this world. I have said ye are gods. Listen. Mm. I have said, ye are gods, ye are gods, and all of you, all of you, are children, are children of the Most High. Now, when the Bible says ye are gods, that means God owned you. That's right. You are made in God's image. God's Not only do you wear the shape and the image and the form that God created to reflect him, God also made man to reflect his character, right. his ways, his thinking, his standard. Yeah. This is why God is against man and woman conducting in a manner that he would not and did not make you to live. That's right. You walk around and wear the title and wear all these strange clothes and something on your head that look like a crown. Oh, my God. That's right. And here you raping some woman. My Lord. I'm a God. I'm a God. And you won't take care of your baby. Go ahead. I'm a God. Go ahead. And you smoking, drinking, and robbing, and lying. Go ahead, brother. I'm a God. I'm a God. And you beating up your wife. That's right. I'm a God. That's right. And you got on tent, skin tight, booty shorts. Amen. <laughs> what kind of God is that? What kind of God is that? A booty short God. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm a God. And you switch it like some woman. Go ahead, brother. You are a disgrace to the title. That's right. 
Are you listening to the old man? I have said ye are gods. And you got your hair long like a woman. Long like a woman. And you are gods? Are gods. Lord. Glory to God. I, I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Ye are gods. And all of you. All of you. Are children. Are children. Of the most high. But what? But ye shall die like me. That mean you're not like the most high because you can't kill heaven. That's right. You can't heal, kill the most high God. No. Well, they killed Jesus. Man, that flesh wasn't God. That's right. What was in him was God. That's it. Mary wasn't the mother of God. Mary was the mother of the servant of God, the lamb of God, the sacrifice of God. That's right. Are you listening? I have said you are, you are God. I said, I don't want nobody. That didn't include all of you that are here. So I know many of you that took this title and ran with it. Man, with you. You're God's. God's going to jail. <laughs> That's right. God's out there shooting each other. Yeah. Hey Amen. God's out there being arrested by the police. That's right. Police got a whole about 10 guards pulled over. <laughs> pulled over. And searching guards. That's right. God's getting a pat down. <laughs> finding 22s, 45, glocks, cocaine, and all that stuff being carried by guards. Guards. That's right. You got that title loosely. Oh, yeah. How are you going to bear the title of God and you live like your father the That's devil? Right. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Who have said God ye are gods. And all of you are children. All of you. All of you are, are children, children. Of the most high. Of the most high. But ye shall die like me. If I'm a child of the most high, then why don't I live like the most high want me to live? That's why right. are you living together not married? That's right. Why are you shacking up? That's right. Go ahead. Like many are taught in some religions, well, when you have fornication, when you have sex with a woman, right away, that's your wife. Mm. Can you imagine such dumb teaching? Amen. Then you know how many wise men of you fellas have? Oh, yeah. What about that man that raped his own daughter? That's right. All of a sudden, that's his wife. That's his wife. You see, people love religions. That condone fleshy activity. Yeah. But the ways of the Lord is opposite from the ways of men. Oh, yes. In the eighth chapter of the book of Romans, mm -hmm. the apostle Paul told us, by God's permission, there is therefore there now. There is therefore now. No condemnation. This is Romans chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit but after the spirit after the father after God for the law of the spirit for of the life law in Christ the Jesus spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus has made, made, made free free from, from the, the law, law of, sin and, of death. sin and death for what the law could not do in that it was, weak, that through the it flesh. was weak through the flesh God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and that no mean that God lay with Mary either that don't mean that Gabriel or Jabril has sex with Mary. No. That don't mean that. No. Only a fool would think that. That's right. When the Bible said God sent his own son, the son of God came out of the house of David from the tribe of Judah, from the womb of the woman. That's it. It was a body of flesh and blood. Yeah. Come on, son. God sent his own son in, in the, the likeness, likeness of, sinful flesh. of sinful flesh. And for sin, he condemns him. In the flesh. In the flesh that of the, the righteousness, righteousness of the law might may be, be fulfilled, fulfilled in us. In us. Who walk not after the flesh. He don't want us to walk how? Who walk not after the flesh. But how? But after the spirit. Now, when you walk after the flesh, you smoke. Oh, yeah. Walk after the flesh. When you walk after the flesh, you drink. That's right. You walk after the flesh, you live together, not marry. You women that walk after the flesh, that's why you got mini skirts and Wear pants like men in skin tight pants. You after the flesh. After the flesh. Hey Amen. You don't like the hair God gave you, so you go to Walgreens and CVS and go buy hair. You don't <laughs> like right. the nails God gave you, so you get Mr. Lee's stick on nails. That's right. You don't like the lips God gave you, so you go somewhere in the back alley and let your <laughs> friend on uh, uh, there in South Chicago pump your lips up with some tire glue. <laughs> That's right. After the flesh. Huh? That's right. After the flesh, you hear next time people see you, your lips is about 12 inches. <laughs> you after the flesh. After the flesh. After the flesh, earrings, finger rings, necklaces, and ankle chains, and, and my toenails painted. You walking after the flesh. After the flesh. Grown men arching your eyebrows like women. That's right. You after the flesh. And I say before and I say again. If you look at the way society have gotten, it's stripping man of his masculinity. Yeah. That's why even the fashion industry is trying to make you look as feminine as it can. That's right. That's right. 
Look at you. That's right. You skin tight, wearing young men. Amen. Go ahead. Skin tight pants. That's right. After the flesh. After the flesh. After the flesh. Amen. Men eyebrows arched. After the flesh. Men barns. Men with ponytails. Ponytail. After the flesh. After the flesh. Now don't try to use Samson. Samson was a Nazarite. Do you know what that is? That's right. A Nazarite was a temporary separation. Not only was the locks of his hair grew long, as long as he was under that vow, certain things he couldn't eat. eat. As long as he was under that vow. That's right. But when that vow ceased, it's a shame for a man to have long, to have long hair. hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The word of God said it. I so, believe it. First Corinthians 11 and verse 14. Says what? Doeth not even nature itself Doeth teach not you? nature itself teach it. That if a man have long hair. If a man have long hair. It is a shame. What? It is a shame. It's of God. It is a shame. It's God will. It is a shame. This is God talking. If a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Come on back. Come on back. Go ahead, man. Having long hair don't make you no African. <laughs> no. And make you look like a woman. That's right. Every style that come out upon men, and it's getting worse and worse. I want men to come back to God's image. That's it. I'm not ashamed that God made me a man. That's right. I ain't trying to be no woman. That's right. Why are you so ashamed? Why are you ashamed? What happened to you? Amen. What happened to your manhood, brothers? Something happened. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You want to wear a thong in your behind. Go ahead, brother. And you're a man. Amen. You sit and listen at these sissy acting evangelists run some cheap revival in your church. Yeah. And you're a man. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. I don't need no manicure nails. That's right. I'm a man. I don't need no powder on my face. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead, brother. So, brothers, how did you get like this? How did you get like this? That your big fat corn toes want to wear your wife pumps. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You want to wear skirt and dresses with a split like your wife. Like your wife. How did you get like this? Oh, yeah. And said, you the man of the house. Whose house? That's right. God said he made man in his image. In his image. And these men have gotten so weak and oh, so yeah. timid. Uh, Pastor Jennings is just too rough for me. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Where is your manhood? That's right. God said, let us, let us make man. Make man. Our image. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. These churches out here that's passed by the devil, they help strip your manhood. Yes, they do. There is no sound teaching. No. Any man that goes to the military, go to the army, you know, I'm pretty sure his drill sergeant <laughs> is not telling him, all right, repeat after oh, me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they all marching, you know, marching around the camp. Hey, hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, hey, they're not. All right, come on, come on. What you gonna do? What, <laughs> what you. <laughs> Am I right, Isha? That's right. Snap that jab, Pastor. Where's your manhood? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. I said, I don't like him. He's too mean. I'm not over there air for you to like me. No, no, no. I, ain't, I ain't trying to be liked by nobody. No, you're not. As long as I have the love of heaven, I don't care what nobody thinks. That's right. Church ain't paying me to preach to you. No, no. I work to take care of my family. That's right. Board of directors didn't vote me in. That's right. Church don't buy my car. That's Church right. don't buy my clothing. I was a preacher talked to me the other day. He said, you mean to tell me the church don't buy your clothes? I said, what? <laughs> I said, the church don't buy my clothes. You said, the church don't buy your shoes? I said, you crazy? No. The church don't buy your shoes? I said, no. Mm. 
The church don't pay your gas. I said, man, what kind of church are you used to? Get a job and go to work. That's it. That's it. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat. So because the church ain't buying these things, oh man, I can preach as free as I want. Oh yeah. Someone said, I don't like it. That's your business. I don't like it. That's your business. I'm going to come at you with God's eternal word. Yes, you will. Man, South Side Chicago, I got to get over there. I got to get over there. Are you listening? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, Williams. Let's just say. Back in Romans chapter 8 and verse 5. All right. But they that are after the flesh. This is mm -hmm. what the scripture forbids. They that are after, they that the, are flesh after the flesh do, do mind the things of They the are flesh. mindful of fleshy things. But they that are after the spirit. They that are after the spirit. The things of the spirit. The Lord's church is supposed to have a spiritual message. Oh, yeah. To make the people spiritual minded. That's right. And when you gravitate to God's mind, which is a spiritual mind, you are gravitating to that and you will look at your fleshy lifestyle and you will want to abstain from abstain it. Abstain from it. That's right. That woman, the one to upstand from it so bad, she'll tell that boyfriend that just knocking her up every night and yep. been promising to marry her for the past five years. Yep. When she make up in her mind, she ain't going to live after the flesh. Look, Freddie, get off of me. That's right. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. What's, what's going on? Is it somebody else? Yes. <laughs> right. Who is it? God. God. <laughs> I want to be right now. Oh, yeah. I don't want to live this. I don't want to live this life no more. Yeah. I'm just tired of it. Being passed from man to man, passed from man to man, man to man. There ain't no life to live. No. God didn't make you for that. No, no. How do you expect for someone to love you if you don't love yourself? Stop shopping around for love. That's right. If God loves you, who cares if nobody else don't? That's right. There's nothing wrong to be loved by a man, the right one. Right. But right. you ain't less than a woman if you don't have no man in your life. That's right. You want to be a woman? Live for God. Go Close your legs Go ahead. and live for God. Go ahead. Am I right, I said? Go ahead, brother. You so called Christian thoughts. Go ahead, brother. Am I right? Go ahead. These church going Chicago Christian thoughts. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. That hole over there that carries a Bible. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Close your Chicago legs. You know that ain't your husband. That's right. Get that man off of you. Yeah. Get some self-respect. Yeah. Get some decency about yourself. That's right. You stop being some worthless playboy. That's you ain't right. doing nothing because you make babies. Roaches make babies. Yeah. Preach it, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You think you a man? You slap some woman around? Yeah. You kick her? Yeah. You slap her? And you stand there and say, he loved me. That's why he hit me. Are you that mentally been banged up in the head? Banged in the head. Boom. Oh, he just loved me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Boom, boom. Oh, there were two hits of love. Hits of love. What a fool. What a fool. That's why men don't like this preaching. Because we're breaking up their racket. That's right. Some women don't like it either. Yeah. They say he's, he's too vulgar. You see, they used to TD snakes. Yeah. Joel Austin and Creffler O'Penny. That's right. We come to give you raw truth. That's right. I didn't come to Chicago to make friends. We come to introduce you to God's law. That's it. It's God's way or no way. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Chicago, you got some shaping up to do. Amen. Am I right, I said? Who will take God? What did he say? Well, they that are after the flesh. Hey! You see, these preachers won't tell you like no, this. No, no, no. No way. The reason why they won't tell you because the preacher trying to hit on you himself. That's right. He's like, hey, hey what's <laughs> your name? That's right. That's right. What's your name? You, you, I noticed you've been coming to church all week. Yeah. Almost laughing at you like Cat Williams. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> huh? What's your name? What's this up? Just a turnaround. Let me see. Ooh, the Lord been mighty good to you. Oh, yeah. I think I ought to put you on the pie committee. <laughs> That's right. 
Are you listening to the old troublemaker? For they that are after the flesh, do you know, mind. They've been trying to ban me off social media more and more and more. Amen. Amen. When the Truth of God program come on, you got all type of disturbance and blackout and all. One, one time they pulled the program down. I mean, they were so angry with it internationally. Somehow Ooh. people hacked into it and pulled it down. They, they, they try to wipe it clean. Wipe it clean. They, they have no idea we have all these backups. <laughs> That's right. I mean, we got backups too, brother. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. So my team got together. They started loading, they started loading them cartridges back up. <laughs> Man, you thought you took it down, didn't you? Uh -huh. You thought you took it down. Then when it came back, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom. We came right back again. We came back doing a Bible drive-by. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Am I right, Archie? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. We're doing a Bible drive-by. That's right. You know, Chicago is known for drive-by. That's right. I want to do a Bible drive-by so I can drive hit by. your false prophet right in the pulpit. That's right. Right in the pulpit. Amen. Right in the second wife's house. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? For they that are after the flesh. They that are after the flesh. Don't mind the things of Hallelujah. the flesh. Hallelujah. Thank God. <laughs> they mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit. They that are after God. The things of the spirit. What is it? For to be carnally minded is death. That's what I'm sent to do is to get the word out that carnal mind. Carnal mind. But to be spiritually minded. Is life and peace. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. We want the world to get God's mind. When you get the mind of Jesus Christ, you love the things he loves and hate the things he hates. That's right. As it stands now, you love the things that God hates. Hate. And the world love it, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The oh, world yeah. love it until materialism has given people, for some strange reason, a reason to live. That's right. They're like there's no God. They cuss God. They blaspheme God. And they do it with no conscience. No conscience. And they think something wrong with me when I preach against it. That's right. The world is full of blasphemy. Oh, yeah. Church is some of the biggest blasphemers out here. Blasphemous. Hypocritical blasphemers. Oh, yeah. You're going to die one day, Chicago. You're going to die. Oh, yes. Doesn't matter what nice words somebody say over you. If you die, you have a no big God. By repenting of your sins and being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and follow God holy order. The preacher can tell a lie and say he see you up there with your mama. You ain't nowhere with your mama. You're laying right there. Right there. That's right. People die and they go to some funeral. Preacher get up there. He right, I see him up there with his mama. He's right up there with his father. He's right up there with his wife. I see him wearing a robe of glory. He a liar. That's a lie. All of you that been to funerals and heard preachers tell, say that, they lie to you. Oh, yeah. They lie to you. Bible said, dust go back to dust. dust. Ain't nobody, mama, daddy, or son, or brother is in heaven. Nobody. Nobody. You're in the dust. And then shall the dust return. Hear yeah, Bible. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. Hey, listen, if your parents are in heaven, won't you keep going to the gravesite for a visit? <laughs> because you know somebody down there. That's right. Think. Think. Wake up. Yeah. I know, well, you keep going to the cemetery for if your parents in heaven. <laughs> Don't go to the cemetery. Just take a trip up. That's it. They're in the dust, like the scripture says. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7 says. Then shall the dust return dust to the earth. shall return to the earth. As it was. As it was. And the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. God is everywhere. That's it. The spirit is in the presence of God, but the body, which is the dust, that's in the earth. In the earth. So when you go to the cemetery, that's dust down there. That's dust. And everybody, everybody, well, mostly everybody, them that's not alive when the Lord comes for creation, you go into the dust. Oh, yes. You go into the dust. I don't care how tough you are, what gang you belong to, you go into the dust. the dust. Look at all the gang members here in Chicago, the Bloods, the Crips, the Gangster Disciples, the uh, Mexican Mafia and everything. everything. Dying, shooting each other. Right. Bodies laying out in the street and shooting each other over territory that nobody owns. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Not one gang in the city paying taxes on one street. Amen. Amen. Not one. 
killing somebody because they got on blue and you got on red. Mm. How foolish can foolish. you be? That you will kill a little 12 year old boy my Lord, my because Lord. he got a blue cap. That's right. You will right. murder a 12 year old boy because he got a red sweater. Yeah. Why is men like animals? Because of your rejection of God. That's right. And when society reject God, what do you think going to happen? The better understand what I'm saying. I come from a very close family, strict family. My father was strict, but down to earth. Mother was strict, down to earth. I could play with Pop. I can box him. But I knew when he wasn't playing. When he say, all right, Gene, right away, <laughs> right away. I knew what that meant. All right, Gene, that, uh, this, uh, uh, my understanding was open. Was open. That's right. When fear and respect leave a household, yeah. what do you think happened to the, the structure of that house? Everything falls apart. Oh, yeah. Things now are allowed in your homes that you used to didn't allow. Yeah. You allow your girlfriend, boyfriend to spend the night, and that's what some of y'all do. Some of y'all let your girl, your daughter, boyfriend spend the night. You let your boyfriend have his girlfriend there. He knocking her up, they give it to her father. Mm. They both run the train on her. I she don't know. mind because she's getting paid for it. Mm. I'm going to make it plain. Oh, yes. They don't, they don't like my they talk like over that. there. They say, he's too bad. I don't care what you call it. <laughs> hey, man, it wouldn't bother you unless you're guilty. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com.